Ray's pool. Yeah, I'm trying to reach Andy Barkley. Andy no longer lives here. Who is this? This is his Uncle Charles. <laughs> Hey, what's going on everybody and thank you for joining me for another fan theory video today we are going to be talking about my favorite horror character of all time Chucky now it goes without saying if you are not caught up with the series there are going to be some spoilers so well I mean I, I guess I said it but you you get the you, you fucking get the idea and for today's theory we're going to be discussing the idea of a missing child's play film and you're probably thinking what the fuck is this guy talking about what do you mean a missing child's play film well before getting into the meat and potatoes of that, we do have to take a look at Child's Play 3 and Bride of Chucky. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there has always been a debate of the timeline of these films, because Child's Play 3 took place eight years after Child's Play 2, which was in 1990, so it always stood to reason that Child's Play 3 took place in 1998 as did Bride of Chucky. Now, of course, for many years, creator Don Mancini would go on to say, like, oh, you know, Child's Bride of Chucky took place, you know, a couple months after Child's Play 3, so wh wh what have you. But as we know, thanks to Chucky learning some new voodoo, he can split his soul into multiple dolls. But, but, what if he was able to split his soul into multiple dolls, but not through voodoo, but inadvertently through resurrection? Hear me out. Now, as we all know, Chucky does have the ability to split his soul into multiple dolls, so it is possible that these two movies could have taken place at the same time. Hell, Child's Play 3 could have even taken place after Bride of Chucky, right? Now, of course, this would leave a continuity problem because, well, if Child's Play 3 took place after the Bride of Chucky, well then, what doll is this that she got, that she hired that cop to get from the evidence depository? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about because I have a strong theory that that is not the doll from Child's Play 3. As a matter of fact, I strongly believe that is a doll from an off-camera adventure that we never got to see, and that to me would actually make more sense because look at this doll. Does this doll look like it has the damage from a fucking commercial industrial size fan? I don't think so. It doesn't. If anything, this looks more crushed. Now, for those of you that don't know, there's actually an alternate ending to Child's Play 2 in which Chucky is resurrected right away. I actually feel bad about this a little bit because I remember arguing with my friend in 8th grade that there was no scene like this that existed and he insisted that Chucky was resurrected right away in Child's Play 2 at the end of the movie and he never understood why the next movie took place eight years later. Then finally I caught a TV version of Child's Play 2 and holy shit it had a freaking ending in which we see Chucky come right back to life. So JJ I apologize for not believing you at that time because he was right there was this scene and yeah why the hell does the next movie take place eight years later that's fucking weird now obviously when you see a tv version of a movie or at least back then when i was a kid when they would have tv versions of movies you'd see a lot of weird scenes and sometimes it was to make up for runtime or sometimes it's because if they had to edit so much out they put other stuff back in again to pad out the runtime but this was a complete enigma to me. But I started thinking about it recently, and what if, just what if Chucky was resurrected right away and had an off-camera adventure? Well, believe it or not, this is something that actually did happen, but in the form of a comic book. During the early 90s, there was a run of Chucky comic books by Innovation, and I gotta say, this was a little bit ahead of its time because we didn't really get to see horror characters in comic books like the way we do now. They even had a fucking hotline where you can call Chucky. I don't know how that worked, I'm sure it's a defunct number by now, but cool nonetheless. Now there were a total of 11 issues of these comic books. The first three comic books were an adaption of the Child's Play 2 film. The next five were their own adventure that took place immediately after Child's Play 2. The last three were an adaption of Child's Play 3. It's also worth noting that there were some scenes and situations that varied slightly from what we saw in the movies in the adaption books. Now I'm not going to get into what really went down in these five issues, but basically it played on the idea of the ending 
Kingdom Child Play 2, where he gets resurrected right away, to the point where you even see him voluntarily go through the assembly line so he could have a complete body for himself. He does go after Karen Barkley and Detective Mike Norris, successfully kills Detective Mike Norris in this adventure, and he ends up getting killed by basically a shark attraction at an amusement park, similar to the Jaws attraction at Universal Studios. Personally, dumb ending. It kind of makes me wonder what information this comic book company was privy to, um, because obviously there were different ideas maybe initially for, for Child's Play 2 or what Child's Play 3 was going to be, and of course we ended up with Child's Play 3, which again subsequently took place years and years later. Now, I'm not saying this is officially the 2.5 movie I'm talking about. I think it played out a little bit differently in my theory, but going back to the multiple dolls thing, now we know Chucky can do this through voodoo, but if it could be done through, you know, a blood resurrection like we've seen in Child's Play 3 and basically what we saw at the end of Child's Play 2 and more or less just every other Chucky movie. If there's a part of him that remains, you could do something with that. Now, granted, this is just a theory and a what-if scenario, but I would like to solidly believe in my headcanon, you know, us nerds like to say that, headcanon, that there is a Child's Play 2.5. And I firmly believe that the body that Tiffany got in the beginning of Bride of Chucky the Chucky remains are from this off-camera adventure. And we also know that multiple Chuckies don't have a hive mind. They don't share memories with one another. So hypothetically, if Chucky was resurrected right after Child's Play 2, the version of him from Child's Play 3 would be completely unaware. Now this is one of those theories I've had in my head for a good number of years, but with the recent things we've learned in Cult of Chucky and the TV show and with the soul splitting, that really helps play into that theory. Anyhow, I appreciate your time watching this fan theory and more horror content to come. If you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do.